Today we're going to talk about the design of a painting and how you can get your viewer to look where you want them to look. So let's get started. So let's look at some great painters first. This is Winslow Homer. You see how he's making you in the wave? He's causing you to have to look at the scene a certain way. This is not a snapshot. This is not straight on. He's taking you into the waves, up and over the waves. And in this case, he's putting you in the water with the sharks. How does that feel? <laughs> yeah, a little nerve wracking, right? But what he's doing is he's showing you the point of view that he wants you to feel and to view from. And that is always interesting in designing a painting. Now this is um, Andrew Wyatt, and he's put that tree right in the front. And what it's causing you to, you to do, it's causing you to have to frame what's beyond in your own mind in a certain way. Very clever, very well designed. And here he is doing it with a window inside a room. The real focus, you would argue, would be that plate, but there's a lot going on beyond that plate. There's a lot of design going on in this painting, as well as, you know, exquisite execution, which is what Andrew Wyeth is known for. Now, this is um, Monet, and he also is one of those painters that doesn't want to just show you the water lilies, but he's going to put you in the pond with them. <laughs> And if you've ever seen his water lilies, you know, in the museum when it's on all the walls and all around you, um, you virtually are in, in the water lily pond. It's, it, you know, everybody speaks of that experience with, with awe. Um, so that is the artist, once again, forcing their point of view on you, how they want you to see objects, not necessarily how those objects appear. This is John Singer Sargent, and he is... Um, kind of known for this device he uses where there are walls on either side and um, you know forces you to look down a long hallway or, or, or an alleyway and he's put the um, person in the gondola and the gondola is pointing the way. Here the gondola is pointing the way as well and you're going to go underneath that arch and on down the canal. This is, these are really great design um, elements that, that um, you know that the cinematographers know how to do so well. Uh, the next one is by Manet, and this painting is known for a variety of things. This is not a good reproduction, but, but it is a painting that mostly is done from um, a mirror. So you are looking at the bartender, but most of the mirror is, is uh, most of the painting, I mean, is a reflection. Uh, this is also a Manet coming up, and I just love the way this is designed. You know, the positive space and the negative space, that wonderful triangle on the right-hand side, upper right-hand side, and you can just feel the energy of of this painting and the way the artist is forcing you to see um, down into the boat. This is a modern painter who's alive today. I usually don't include modern painters, but this is Susan Lichtman, and I'm kind of fascinated by her right now because she has a really unique way of framing and getting, um, getting the viewer to look at the object and then beyond the object. These were two I picked because they were florals and had dogs in them, and that's something I'm particularly interested in. But um, I, you know, this is a pretty radical thing to do. I, I, I don't think, um, you know, this is not good uh, design principles in painting, but, but I love it. I love the quirkiness of it. This is my stuff, which <laughs> doesn't compare in any way to anything you've seen until we got to this point, but this is what I'm struggling with right now, which is using um, at least three or four photographs in order to make one painting and to force my viewer to look at um, things the way I want them to see things, you know, either through a window or over uh, a diagonal, or up and down in terms of view, and that's what I'm going to be experimenting with. And I just wanted to show you kind of where this artist is at this moment, and uh, and what I'm working on, and how I try to look back at uh, other painters that I either admire or or who have come from the past who can really influence the way I decide to uh, experiment. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel if you would be so kind, and um, I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.